Hey guys, Karis here with a triple review. This time I'll be reviewing the Atmon Parent Cover Set Duo, Dokamon, Musimon, and Hackmon versions from Digimon Universe Apply Monsters. These are the Parent Cover Sets for the Apply Drive Duo, lets you customize yours into one of the Apply Drive Duos used by the other three Apply Drivers. Each set includes the Parent Cover, which comes in two parts, as well as two Atmon chips. So, let's get started. First up, we have the Dokemon version set. So, first up, we have the two halves of the parent cover. The bottom one will always be in this metallic pale gold, while the top one is in the color to match the respective Apple Driver and Atmon. So in this case, the color scheme here is blue, with metallic green for the stickers. See Dokemon up there? And on the side, it's got the Dokemon symbol. And then you have the stickers down here, colored green to match. The included Admon chips are Dokemon and Ojamon. You also have the backs with their symbols and QR codes. And now we can bring in the Apple Drive Duo and customize it. So. Remove the two original halves. And place these on by lining up this part here with the connectors here. So just like that. And for comparison, here it is with the Dokomon version of the original Apple Drive. And you can see that they have the same color scheme, then they use the same shades of metallic blue. So that is nice attention to detail. And for these, you'll notice that even though the angle is different, and uh, the coloration and the way the format is different, the basic way that they have these is pretty similar, in that they both do have the words pairing and the app my name plus the symbol somewhere on them along with stickers in a certain color. So, next we'll test out the Epmon chips. First is Dokamon. So for this is actually a special version of the Dokomon chip that has a short phrase relating to Dokomon at the beginning of it and also shows Dokomon's image during the summoning process. Then next we have Ojamon. And so for this one, it just makes the same sounds as a normal Ojimon ship. Though, of course, the design is special. Next up is the Musimon version. So for this one, the top plate is a metallic gold, with the cigars being in metallic blue. 
It is kind of a shame that they didn't have different colors for the bottom plates. Just because the gold on gold is a little bit iffy. But it does make me glad that they have stickers on the bottom parts because if they didn't, it'd be pretty hard to tell which one's which since they're all painted the same color. You can see Museum on there and the Museum on symbol right there. Then you include chips, our special view, special version Museum on. And special artwork, Entermon. So we'll do another switch. So there you go. And once again, for a quick comparison, here is the Apple Drive Museum on version. And once again, we have the same color of gold paint here, and the same color blue for the stickers. So once again, very nice attention to detail. So, now we'll test out the chips. And last but not least, we have the Hackmon version set. So, for these ones, you have the top half in metallic black, the corresponding half is pale metallic gold, and the cigars are metallic red. You've got Hackmon up there, and the Hackmon symbol over here. Then for the chips, as is following the pattern, you've got the standard grade version, Hackmon. And the ultimate grade version, Revive Mon. So we'll do one more swap. And for that last comparison, Here is the Ebley Drive Hackmon version. So once again, same paint colors, same sticker colors. Very nice. And uh, sorry that took a little bit longer. I just had to switch them out off screen. So, once again, let's test out the chips.
きましたハック完了なあこれやなあリバイブもとは復元の能力を持つアップモンダ。And lastly, I just want to briefly talk about the fourth of the parent cover jewels, which is the Now, this is not actually the set itself, but this is the contents of the set. What I mean is that these are the parent covers off of my Apple Drive Duo Gatchamon version, as well as the chip included. And then the other chip that's included that you get in this set is this special Gatchamon version. And this is something I want to talk about because I want to talk about the other way that you can get these special chips, which is through the Atmon chip version 6.0 packs. Since these were initially released with these sets, but were later re released in a m o n t i p version 6.0. So, here we have the special version of g a t c h m o n And just another look at the uh, Globemon chip that came with this, along with the a p p l e Drive Duo g a t c h m o n version. So then I'm just going to set this aside, plug these on, and demonstrate this chip. And you can watch my review of this for the other chip. And there we go. So, overall, these sets are great because not only do they give you the same level of customization as the parent cover sets for the original a p p l e Drive, but they actually give you a little bit more since because the parent covers come in two parts, you can actually mix and match the top and bottom halves. And it actually doesn't change too much and actually kind of works in favor of these having the bottom halves being the same colors because when you do that, you still have the same general look, you just change the Colors of the stickers between the two halves. Not to mention that you also do get a couple of cool chips. And the nice thing about these is that even if you decide not to get them, you're not missing out on too much because for the Kiwami grade chips or the Ultimate grade chips, even though they have these new designs, they make the same sounds as the normal versions. And for the standard grade chips, If you decide not to go for any of these, you can still get these chips 
through the packs of Atmon Chip version 6.0. So really, it means that you could pick up one or two of these and maybe not pick up the other, or just pick up whichever ones you want and still be able to get the chips that make special sounds through other means. And I really do appreciate this, and it is very cool to have these Digivice type devices that are actually properly customizable for whichever character you like best, which is really something that didn't happen in the past with Digivices, to where if you wanted to buy a certain character's Digivice, you know, you had to buy it. If you wanted to buy another, you had to pay for another version of that device. And sometimes they didn't always release every version of that Digivice. So for some characters, they were kind of left in the dark. But with these, it gives you the customization options for each of the main characters. And you only have to buy one of the device. So... It's definitely very much worth it to pick these up, and it's something that I hope they continue to do in the future with these Digivice-related toys, or if they go back to normal Digimon, I hope to see this in regards to future Digivices. So, on the topic of Appmon, while I haven't yet decided when I'm going to be doing the next series or next season of Toku Toy Theory, I have decided I want to, in the meantime, do another more intellectual or analytical series, and I want to do one related to Atmon. So, join me next time for the first episode of what I'm going to call Atmon Fusion Lab. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.